excited when you go to our bed. <gasps> Hi, Maker Bopper. Hi, Goose. Good morning. Hi. Say hola. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. What? You're such a booger face. Ah, don't pick mine. Mm. Yeah. Say hi, people. Hi. Uh. Guess what we are making? Here, let's try it. I can try more than one if you want me to. No, it's early morning. Does it taste? Hmm? What in the world? Hmm. It's minty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just made some mint chocolate dip pretzels, you guys. Look. And this is for a video for Abby Contrary. Maybe I'll I show you guys. Another one just no, stop. And uh, we are doing this for some special people, so I'll show you. You'll see why. But it is 9:24, so I'm up early making some of this. And then. Yes, I am up early. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of sprinkles. Sprinkles. And the reason why they're half dipped is because um, not a lot of people here, I uh, I figure they don't like a lot of chocolate. So I'm doing half dip so it's like the right amount of chocolate on your pretzel, if that makes sense. And only a little bit of sprinkles and i'm going to do half without sprinkles but look they are um stars. holiday oh. holiday pretzels there's stars some bells and some trees got that one at walmart cool huh? yeah. mm -hmm. um well she's making her goodies i'm going to feed the kids some goodies and uh just to show you guys these guys are sucking for goldfish punch Follow me. Hey, Miguel, we're this way. Aquí vente para acá. Abby has been saying this. I don't know what she is saying, but she's been saying this yesterday. Toca la guitar or la guitar. I don't know. I don't know what she's saying, but it's really funny because I don't understand what she's saying. Anyways, guys, so today we don't have much planned. I have a couple visitations. Um, but other than that, it's chore day. We gotta clean the hands, and Lucy's gonna mow the lawn, and Mika's gonna take out the trash. But other than that, nothing planned. Look at this girl, she's climbing. Ah, she's learned to climb the my knee and get on top of the couch, and then just to get to the treats. Look at it. <laughs> but, anyways, we were looking on a website to adopt a dog. We can't find that many. The ones that we keep finding are the same ones we've seen before, and I don't know. Maybe we're just too picky. One doesn't shed too much, one doesn't too big, and blah, blah, blah. Maybe we need to lower. Huh? Abby Wabby's done with her project of the chocolate covered pretzels, and then she'll let you know what she's going to do with them. So if you want to buy a dozen, we're slaving away here, making lunch for the babies. They're gonna have um, a burrito with, you know, the, it's like the fiesta burrito, but I'm gonna use cilantro rice instead with some bell peppers and bananas on the side. And I'm gonna have some cilantro rice with some vegetarian chili. Oh, see? No más? Luis is trying to finish up the eggs because he said after we finished the last um, carton of eggs, he doesn't want to eat eggs anymore. And I said, why? And he goes, he just doesn't feel right, I guess. And just to not waste food, we need to eat the food that we have because not everybody has food. So we got to eat it. <gasps> Hello! <gasps> bunny, bunny. Bunny, bunny, boo, boo. So we're doing this new... No. Don't waste food. No. Um. <sighs> Good. 
we're doing this thing now where I'm going to measure our food, mine, Luis's, and the kids' food, um, to control our eating, right? Yeah. Have more portion sizes so that when I cook, it doesn't go away within a day and a half so that our food kind of lasts a little bit longer. Um, with the kids, it's, it's really hard, but with me and Luis, we can control our eating. So whenever we have rice, I'll measure the rice, probably half a cup of rice each and whatever we have on the side. Um, he is trying to finish the eggs, but after that, he's done. So I figured that I've been eating eggs all my life. And so I think I'm going to take a break from eating eggs for a while. No. Um, um, I just, I don't know. I want to take a break from them. I just want to eat healthier in a, in a way. I don't, I don't want to pronounce myself vegan because um, I know that I'm not, uh, how would you say, I will fail at vegan at one point, so I'm not going to call myself vegan. But I'm going to try and eat healthier. So I just think I need to give cut eggs out of my diet. Uh, especially because uh, they're high in cholesterol. Is that what, mm -hmm. what it's called? They're high in cholesterol. And, uh, well, I'm not getting any younger, you know. And then these kids, well, they're going to keep me busy for the rest of my life. So I no. I need to make sure and I, I'm i healthy enough Talk. to keep up with Mika when he, when he joins the soccer team at Walla Walla University, you know. We are really trying to live as simply as we can, r trying, meaning with food we'll do um, rice, beans, vegetables, grains, you know, low calorie, non-dairy, non-dairy will be hard because I, I like cream cheese and that's what I put in there, sandwiches, but again it's hard i'm not gonna say i'm vegan either i like to bake vegan food because if i have too much dairy my stomach will hurt so i'm trying to slowly cut off vegan but add a little bit to my diet cut off really. dairy, not vegan. did i say vegan i meant cut off dairy sorry no, I'm just um i'm not drinking milk i have cheese here and there so it's really really hard and i'm really really trying so bear with us and I'll show you the pretzels I was working on. I have one, two, three, four, five trays of pretzels. And we are going to go around our neighborhood to our closest neighbors and give them a bag of homemade um, dipped pretzels. Just, just to get to know them. Give them Luis's business card, say, hey, if you see anything fishy with our house, please call. You know, just look out for each other. Get to know people. So, still waiting for Luis to get home. He went out to um, work on a funeral, I think. Yeah. Doing something about a funeral or... He's host or he's speaking at a, for a funeral um, this coming week, so he is out. No, oh, we're still waiting on Daddy. Oh. Mm, my baby girl looks so pretty in her shirt. I'm hoping that we can go to Walmart today and get some gloves for my, for my hands when I wash dishes. Um, I had to throw away the other ones because there was a hole in the thumb. I used it a lot, but if I don't use gloves. While I wash dishes, my hands will get really dry and cracked. And it's not even because it's winter time, and that's just how it is. Um, especially when you wash dishes, you use hot water, and hot water does dry out your skin. So, just to protect my hands, like I don't even want to show you my, my messed up finger, because it never heals. But, that's what I'm really hoping that we can do today. You have a lisp. Let me see your lisp. <laughs> Cheerios! Good girl! <laughs> Cheerios! <laughs> Good girl!
Hi. Just wanted to formally introduce ourselves. This is my wife, Abigail. Nice to meet you. I think I met you. I've seen you at least in the yard. So. That's Lucy. Uh huh. Mikael. And we just wanted to bring you a little oh. something. <laughs> Thank you very yes. much. Snow? <laughs> Ah, eh? nieve, es nieve, papá. Es nieve. Es nieve. Y, okay, he's gonna grab all of it. <laughs> we are almost done, guys. Well, we're going home now. <laughs> we have one bag left, but they weren't home, so I guess we'll just keep it or give it to Don and Kathy. And I'm trying to describe or think of the right words to tell you how, how it smells here when you go outside. What does it smell like to you? It smells like you're living on a farm, and the farm is as big as North Platte. So anytime there's wind, it smells like we just there's somebody left some poop on our doorstep, and it's like it's <laughs> always on. there. Come on. Or like they just smeared it right under our nose. It just it's just always there. It just never goes away. Don't start a habit if you don't want your kids to keep doing it, doing it, doing it. <laughs> Luis has this little playful thing he does with the kids where he sticks this ping pong ball in his mouth and shoots it at them and now Mike does it and I'm so terrified he will like fall and it will shoot in his throat. March upstairs to your room, Missy. We are going to take a nap. Come on. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to daddy. Da uh, that's our room. It's like the party's here, you guys. Okay. Come here. Don't worry, they do this every single time. They'll knock out within like a couple minutes, so. So we went to um, Gothenburg yesterday for church and during potluck, um, a church member had some delicious, delicious vegan dessert. This right here, this yumminess right here, this is vegan. What it is, is um, ground up Oreo, like the, the black, you know, the sandwich part ground up with tofu cream cheese and on the outside is just melted vegan chocolate chips and they look like truffles and i was a little hesitant to eat it because i really don't like truffles but the inside is so soft and moist that it tastes like um a little piece of cake and i'm going to send this idea to my cousin because it is so so yummy mmm so soft Mm. Mm. And they're really small, so you can eat as many as you want. Cause it's vegan. Guys, we are going to eat pepperoni. Just that I let you guys know. You guys don't, saw it here. Don't judge us. Please, we are vegan, but we can't get away from pepperoni. You're OA. I already told them it's vegetarian. <laughs> it's vegan. Ives, which is Ives. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's veggie cuisine. Anyway, I think Abby's gonna make them like a little mini pizza. Pizza balls. What I'm gonna do here is take some cheese. I know it's not vegan, but this is what we have, so I gotta use it. Veggie pepperoni. Can you hold it? And then I'm going to take all of the sides. Where's the sauce? sauce won't be inside it'll be um as a dipping and just roll it just like that and here is um oiled down casserole just put them in there i'm not going to put any garlic on the outside just in case the babies are not you know they can't have garlic so it won't have anything on the outside besides a little bit of oil to make it a little bit crispy and i'm also going to make some mommy soup which is a filipino soup 
to go with our pizza balls and whatever is left over from that will be tomorrow tomorrow's lunch so this is a good verse uh, this is from mark chapter 9 uh, verse 24 says immediately the father of the child cried out and said with the said with tears lord i believe help my unbelief have you ever felt that way that you do believe in god you do love him but there's this little part of you that just questions god's miracles god's power god's ability to be there for you sometimes we need to pray the same prayer god i believe help my unbelief and uh, the reason i wanted to share that is well it's highlighted in my bible but i remember i prayed that prayer many times when i was first learning to be a christian or wanting to be a christian and it's tough when you have this little doubt in your mind but sometimes we need to pray that same prayer and if you are in that situation allow us to pray for you too and if you want abby to pray for you just let her know leave her a comment and she'll pray for you here is their meal so a little bit of entree dessert and side So this is how the pizza balls come out. And you can, like I said, you can put stuff on top of it, but ours have to be plain for the kids. And uh, once they're done with that, or once they get bored with that, we've got some mommy soup here for them. Luis is having some leftover chili and rice, and I'm gonna have some mommy soup and pizza balls. <laughs> so it's story time with Luis, cause he wants to tell you something super funny from last night take it away funny guy yeah funny guy so we were ch show his face him this guy Where? Yeah. Ch i changed his diaper right because he had pooped and so i'm you know doing the, my thing cleaning it up and so i put the diaper away and i throw it away and then here he comes and he's his he has something in his hand he goes da 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 so i'm thinking it's probably just like cookie crumbs or something that he somehow had in his hand. I don't know. So I go and grab it and I'm like, I'm like, whoa! It was his poop. He was holding his poop. I don't know where he grabbed it from. But they look like these little pooping right chunks. Now. And I grabbed it and I took a big whiff of it. It was so funny because last night... Uh, Mika's just sitting there, he goes like this, and <laughs> from the corner of my eye, I can just see Luis going, <laughs> and he didn't even say anything, I was like, what happened? He's like, it's his poop. <laughs> so he smelled it and, twice. And, uh, yeah, and then I, I, I looked at the ground, and, and, and I'm playing with this thing, and I'm like, so I pick it up, you're not playing with me. So I, no. Yes, it so, is. So I go and pick it up in this little thing. So I'm, and, and I was just playing with my fingers, and then I'm like, ah! <laughs> I, I, it was nasty. We got treats, you guys. What's up with Amber's thing? We're trying to Skype with Auntie Amber. It's like, it's taking forever. What did they bring us? We got treats. <gasps> that is cute. Look at this, you guys. Candy cane goes on the tree. As you guys can tell, I love to eat. Look at that! Uh oh. Sprink sprinkles. Look at these kids. Look at I ah! No, not yet. Wait till Daddy comes back. He'll give you a little piece. What in the world? What happened? You just took the cookies away. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm angry because you took the cookies away. Stars. Oh, <gasps> honey canes. <gasps> Across. This is so cool. Oh, that's kind of hard though. Oh my, eating away. Huh. Oh. Sorry kids, this is not good for you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Peek-a-boo! It's Mom!